Hello, our viewers. I am Namasme Titus, a teacher of biology and chemistry. We are continuing with our solutions for UNEB UCE 2024 Biology Theory, paper 553, stock 1. And today we are going to look at item 2. Item 2 comes from element of construct 4, which states that a learner appreciates how the human body coordinates various activities and adjusts to ensure normal functioning of the body. This element of construct consists of these topics. We have chemical coordination, nervous coordination, sense organs, and locomotion. Now, our unique item given to us says, the item says, Donald joined a group of young boys who sniff petrol and smoke marijuana frequently. The group became known for crime, violence, and causing chaos in the trading centers. Donald and his group members were one day surrounded by policemen, and the policemen fired gunshots at them. This caused Donald's heart to beat. This caused Donald's heart beat to increase suddenly, and he ran very fast back to their home. Task: What challenges do you think Donald may face? if he continues associating with such a group. Party B, describe how Donald's body coordinated and made him reach home. Then finally, Part C, explain how Donald can avoid challenges associated with being in such group. Part A, they are just saying, what challenges do you think? What challenges do you think? This young man, He's in a group of boys who sniff petrol and smoke marijuana frequently. You have to check on the effects of such kind of habits on this person. And then they're saying the group is known of crime, violence, and causing chaos in the trading centers. So let's look at part A. Part A, what challenges do you think John is, Donald is likely to face? if he continues associating with such a group. This part of ours, we shall just give the challenges of such kind of behavior. One of them is sniffing petrol and smoking marijuana can lead to severe lung damages and infections like bronchitis and brain damage. You have severe lung damages and infections. And we also have another issue will be brain damage. Someone may call it brain damage or mental illness. Yes, that happens a lot with those members who do marijuana and, and sniff petrol. We have another one which is simply rejection by others. You find that such individuals are rejected by maybe family members or even friends, and it causes some kind of isolation. We have a, another one which is being caught with these substances can lead to jail time. You find that these individuals who indulge in activities of smoking drugs or sniffing drugs, once you're caught, it is very illegal in the nations. And once you're caught with such substances, you will find that you face some form of imprisonment. Or if not, there will be a fine which will be subjected to you. You find that also, this substance use can result in two violent activities in the society. Most time you find that these are the individuals who are associated with stealing. You've heard of individuals who go around, around, around the roads knocking others with favors so that they can be able to take their phones, snatching their laptops, snatching whatever kind of property. That person doesn't just wake up one morning and start doing those activities. There is some influence of substance abuse. The person does some substance abuse, and then from nowhere, they start involving into, sub, into violent activities like strikes, other than strikes, snatching people's property, and also aggressive activities like fighting in bars. So here we may have theft and fights, which can result into a person's death once you're caught as a thief, or it can result into destruction of property. That's how you may go on attempting item one. This item one is just checking 
your knowledge of effects of drug abuse. What happens when you intend to use these drugs? These are the effects you may face. And it will just be given as understanding by this thing. Now we go to part B. Part B, which says, describe how Donald's body coordinated and made him reach home. You know that these activities are illegal. And being illegal activities, once you're caught by the law enforcers, now these guys we are surrounded by police. And being on top of being surrounded by police, the police even shot, made some gunshots. And you know some of even without being in an instance of maybe you have a crime, but you just hear a gunshot, someone suddenly runs away. Why? The body is trying to respond to a certain stimulus in the environment. Now for this individual who is even illegally found with some kind of drugs, they are surrounded by police and even are hearing some gunshots from these police. How did the body coordinate to enable Donald to reach home? You will find that here you're going to look at the coordination. And for our coordination, we have two things you first of all have to consider. We have the first thing, we have what we call sight of policemen. And from sight of policemen, we have also gunshots. Gunshots, these are two things. How are you able to perceive these two things as a body? The body has sense organs, and each sense organ has a role. What we call sight of policemen, policemen this one you'll be able to detect it by use of your sense organs, which are simply the eyes. And they will detect the policemen by collecting light rays, collecting light rays of the policemen. Light rays from the policemen will be collected by your eyes. And these light rays will be directed through the cornea. And you'll find that an image of the policeman is formed on the retina. That image will be turned into electrical signals, which will be sent via the optical nerve to the brain for interpretation. And the brain will interpret this policeman as a dangerous, as a dangerous person to, concerning the activities of these individuals. We also have gunshots. Gunshots, we shall have sound waves. These sound waves will be, connect, will be collected by our organs, which are simply the ears. And these ears will collect the sound waves, which will be converted into electrical signals and carried to the brain via the auditory nerve. And the sound of the gunshot will also be interpreted as a dangerous, will be interpreted as dangerous, and it results into triggering of what we call fight or fear responses by your body. How does the body do that? The first thing the body will do, it will be secretion of adrenaline hormone. The adrenaline hormone will be responsible for triggering what we call the fight or fear responses. And one of them, you will find that the adrenaline hormone causes an increase in the heartbeat rate to increase pumping of blood containing nutrients and oxygen to activate muscles, uh, to active muscles and vital organs. We shall also have this adrenaline hormone causing the eyes to open wide to receive more light rays for clear vision during the running. There is also, the adrenaline hormone will also be responsible for increasing skeletal muscle activity. The skeletal muscles will contract rapidly to enable the, lar the learner to, to enable this person, Donald, to enable Donald to run fastly back to their home. And now, how are you going to put all this together? You have to go one at a time. You start from the starting point. We shall have sound of gunshots and sight of policemen. We are processed by the sensory organs, which sensory organs I talked about, the eyes and the ears. The light rays from the policemen were collected by the eyes and the image of the policemen were formed on the retina, which was converted into electrical signals and sent to the brain. The sound of gunshots was collected by the ears and 
converted into electrical signals, which were transported, which were transmitted by the auditory nerve to the brain. All these electrical signals were interpreted by the brain as dangerous, and the brain and the brain sent impulses to the adrenal gland, which secreted adrenaline that triggered fear, stroke, fight, or flight responses. One of the responses, you find that this individual was breathing heavily, and the purpose of breathing heavily is to take in enough oxygen to the active muscles for cerebral respiration to provide more energy for the running, because this individual was trying to run back home, and this activity requires energy. Also, this breathing every is also important in rapid outtake or rapid taking out of carbon dioxide from the body, so as not to lower the blood pH. Then the other one, we shall go to part C. We shall go to part C. The detailed response for part B, you're going to find, to find it in part D. We have the detailed response well aligned together. Part C, it was asking about, explain how Donald can avoid challenges associated with being in such groups. How can he avoid the challenges we talked about above? One of them is to stop smoking. Because we talked about lung damages and brain illness. How can he avoid that? The first thing, he should stop. Don't even avoid, but stop smoking. Stop smoking. He should stop smoking to avoid lung diseases and mental illness. We have seek guidance and counseling and be helped on how to stop substance abuse. There is also avoiding peer groups. The best way to avoid substance abuse is to avoid peer groups which give you that influence of doing those wrong activities. Sometimes also avoiding these peer groups tends to help you to avoid being tempted to try doing substance abuse again. We have also engage in alternative productive activities. Someone can just go to productive activities, like maybe going to the gym, going to have a better alternatives like jogging, other than doing substance abuse. Or if not, you can go for what we call community work. Community work is also so productive. You go to the community and help the members in carrying out productive activities. We have the last one, going to rehabilitation centers in the case it is very intense and you have failed to be, you have failed to quit the activity totally. For some members have those effects where you find that a member is trying to quit but they have failed and now they need to seek professional help from rehabilitation centers. Going to those members who are more qualified in helping you to quit substance abuse. So this person has to go to rehabilitation centers for further help on how to quit substance abuse. We shall have more others being added into our category where you find more other ways of avoiding such activities. So that's the end of this activity. Thank you for listening. Go to category, get more information from there.